guys uh, I just thought I'd record this uh, trip to uh, to uh, the meetup uh, because it's been a while since I recorded anything so I thought let me just go ahead and uh, say hello to you guys out there <laughs> Uh, there's much going on. Uh, I've been watching YouTube videos, uh, a little busy at work, and the usual stuff. But uh, I'm planning a trip on to uh, the Talamina area again this year, just like last year. So that's going to be fun. And uh, there's a bunch of motorcycles out here. Harley guys I guess <laughs> that's good so we're just gonna meet out with our Indian motorcycle riders just hang out eat some stuff chat about this and that we have a whatsapp group where we keep chatting about things so this is just a once a week meetup the guys actually go and uh, ride after this and go for dinner somewhere but you know I skip that basically because uh, it gets too late and uh, this is where it is it's a quality restaurant just gonna get here and then check out the guys let's see what's going on some good bikes out here oh yeah uh, Revzilla sticker that's interesting what bike is that then what is this one here? That's a Speed Twin. That's an interesting bike. Of course the CBR 250R. That's interesting. And Farouk's R1. That's cool. Hello sir. How are you? Good, good to see you. you very good, very good. Hello guys, good to see you. I'm Sri Watson. Deepak, nice to meet you. Hey, uh, hello Farooq. Hey Amit, good to see you. Hey, Siddharth. Oh, you're the Siddharth, <laughs> the SR. <laughs> to see you, buddy. <laughs> good. Hello! <laughs> Hello guys, uh, it's been a long time since I recorded something, so I said okay. Let me go ahead and uh, I record this morning's ride uh, to the meetup. So, uh, it's been pretty good. We've been chilling out, riding on the street, getting familiar with this bike. And uh, it's, uh, it's been a good ride. <laughs> guys call me I'm a, I'm a GSA fanboy I'm proud of it <laughs> I must say I'm thinking that eventually I might get the 310 GS because I'm thinking you know this bike seems so comfortable and light already uh, the 310 would be like a you know like a child's play like a bicycle on a dirt track uh, which is probably what I would have if I'm going alone on any kind of a trip, I guess. 
But uh, let us see. It's no hurry for anything. That's just a, a quick uh, update on uh, what I'm doing and where I'm going. If you guys are watching my uh, Instagram uh, motor vlogging with V-Man. You can follow me. I put a little more uh, posts on that place. So that's another place where you can keep track of what I'm what I'm doing, even if I'm not putting up uh, YouTube videos. Uh, but other than that, uh, yeah. If you guys are watching, keep watching. I'll try to put some uh, videos up. I think the trip is going to be fun. And I'm going to make, uh, I guess, some more trips. Uh, you know, I've been riding around in the city with the guys. But, uh, you know, city riding, it's a pointless exercise. I know hanging out with guys is, is fun. But uh, traffic and stuff is, uh, it's alright. But it's, it's like commuting, I guess. There's no fun. Uh, been watching uh, YouTube videos of people traveling around the world on either dip visiting different countries or BDRs or off-road stuff and uh, yeah, it's always fun it's a great thing about the YouTube videos you can uh, pretty much narrow down your interest and just go after it without having to you know, wait for anything. So, anyway, I will talk to you guys later. The uh, Turetic bars I was talking about, reinforcement bars. And this is basically this bar coming from here. The good thing is, uh, unlike the Altrider bars, I didn't have to, uh, this bolt doesn't go right through, like the engine bolt. Altrider wanted me to remove the bolt from here and put a bolt right through here Which I didn't want to do that. It puts the pressure on this area here Which will actually be on the engine. This one just sticks in this hole here. So this is not screwed in. It's just a little bit of a uh, You know kind of a pressure uh, into that uh, Into that hole there with the plastic So worst case this will break which is okay when it absorbs the impact from here to here because uh, what happened was uh, when if you drop the bike this particular part I've noticed uh, actually the top part here can go closer to the engine here and that's what I wanted to avoid with this reinforcement bar so looks pretty good this this place this nut was a little bit difficult to get in but other than that it was pretty straightforward installing this uh, so it's like a bracket which goes in here and then just put a mount right through and this one just sticks right there. It's the same on the other side, if you can see. The other side is a similar deal. Again, from here down to here. So this should take care of it. Uh, so hopefully that shows you in detail on how you can protect this part from hitting your engine cover. Probably get uh, machine art cylinder covers so that from bottom, you know, I don't want any stones or rocks hitting there. So that's probably the next step. Anyway, talk to you guys later.